Alright, what's up, YouTube? Uh, I just ordered the slash 4x4 LCG conversion. These retail for uh, $70. I got it for $48, including the shipping price on eBay. It's the whole conversion. Traxxas 7421. Right, I just removed all the screws and the two battery mounts just for the sake of this video. And now I'm gonna have to remove the chassis. Alright, in order to keep this video short, I'm not gonna screw the screws out on video. I'm just gonna do it off video and then put everything else in the video. Now in order to take the chassis off, you remove the screws here and here in the back. In the front, there's going to be a screw here and a screw here. If you have a sway bar, there's going to be two screws right next to those other holes, which I had to remove. In the back, you remove this. There's going to be a screw here, another here. One here and here. You have to remove all eight of those and just pull this off and then pull the front off. And also, you're gonna have to remove the servo, which I'm gonna do off camera. Okay, once the screw is removed from the servo you should be able to take the front off and now you should have three pieces just like that okay now the next thing is I'm stripping everything from the stock chassis starting with the motor mount motor pull out the differential uh, pull out the center drive line if you have a motor plate pull that off or if your ESC is mounted pull it out pull the servo out using these four screws There's two over here and your receiver box should be here with two screws you have to take that out but I had mine glued up front I'm gonna start with the back and I'm gonna remove this and take this C I think it's like a rear bulkhead. I'm not sure what it's called, but this is what I'm gonna have to put on. Remove the four screws. Take this off. And you put this on there. Um, there's a, yeah. you use two of these screws. I think, yeah. I'm not sure. But anyways, I'm gonna put it on. Alright, I removed all the screws. There's going to be a screw back here that you need to remove. Take this little thing off. And you're going to have to pull these uh, two pins out. I'm just going to use some pliers for that. Just like that. Now, you should be able to pull this off. Yeah. Okay, now's a good time to add grease or oil in here and but I'm not gonna need to do that right now I'm just gonna put this on okay I remove that and just simply slide this on here uh, the, the screw holes are in the exact same spots as the older piece so put the same screws back in the same spots Alright, like that, you just put the earrings back on and the pins in. You put this piece back on here. Put that screw in. And fasten that down, pull this down. And the screw goes in to all those four holes. Now the next thing I'm going to do is remove this uh, front piece. And... and uh, with this 
You have to remove this uh, front bumper. These three screws, these two screws, and I there possibly are screws under this part that you have to remove. Okay, once these five screws are removed, there's a screw here that you remove, and then you take this plate off, and then pull these two pins out, pull the A arms away, and pull this piece off, I believe. Well, this is attached to these two pieces. So, you have to remove that. Anyways, first of all, I'm going to put this on so this grease doesn't get on the floor. It's like that, and then the pins go in. And then, okay, I'm gonna have to push this down. And then you put this plate on here on the front, and screw in, and then screw these in. You're gonna take the motor mount, set it in the back, just like that. There's going to be some screws and a nut. The nut will go into this little notch. And then the four screws go... One goes here, the others go into these three holes. And then the motor plate has a little notch here that goes onto this screw. Just like that. Alright, now the next step is going to be the Nerf bars. You just simply flip the chassis over, snap these in, and then there's a packet of eight screws that you just screw in here, and you repeat that on the other side with the nerf bar, and then you put the screws in these holes. All right, the next step is mounting this servo in the chassis. And the servo wire is going to go through the front hole in the chassis. It's like that. The area where the servo horn gets mounted goes towards the outside. And you're going to use the four screws from the older chassis to mount in. Mount the servo in these four holes. Alright, for me now the next step is going to be mounting all the electronics. But you could do the receiver box first, but I'm just doing that just to fit. Alright, now the next step is installing the driveline and the center diff or slipper clutch, whichever one you have. Now we're going to start by inserting the driveline. Now make sure it connects with the front, so if you spin this, the front wheel will spin. Now you put the center diff in, in the back. You gotta put this bearing back. Okay. Just like that. Slide it in place. Make sure everything goes together with the gear on the motor. And then we're going to put the back of it on. Let's make sure this uh, center diff or slipper clutch, this part right here, smoothly goes in here. Once the dry line is in, you're going to slide this forward and then screw these in. You will use the supply screws, the longer screws go on the the bottom or the shorter screws on the bottom 
and then the longer screws will go up here. Alright, once the drive line and the gear mesh are set, the next step is the motor cover. This is the H packet. Well, the gear mesh cover actually. And with it included is the motor wire tie down. I'm not going to use that. But there's a little hole in there for the motor tie down. For this uh, gear cover, I'm just going to slide it in here. Let's see. Just like that. And then you're going to put the bigger screw in here. And that hole. Alright, the next step is the battery mount. It comes in the E package. You're going to take this piece. And... You're going to put it in here just like so that this little hole area faces outward. And then you take the two longer screws from the bottom of the chassis. And you screw it in. And then you take this piece. This uh, little area here faces outward. It's like that. And then you take the two shorter screws and you screw it in from the bottom. Okay, once you've installed these two pieces, you can use these two these pieces of foam and stick them in these areas. Or you can move this in the back to make the battery fit snugly. And then this battery hold down just slides in here. Like that, and then there's a quick release there to pull it out. Okay, the final step is going to be the receiver box. It's going to be in the G package. You're going to take the bottom, and we're going to mount it on these two holes right here. Using the two countersunk screws. Okay, once you've put the receiver box... Uh, once it's screwed down, you're going to put this piece of rubber around the edge of the receiver box. Then you take the top and put the receiver wire through this hole. And every other wire goes from the top inward. Just like this place all of these wires in that will plug into the receiver just like that and then you're gonna take this piece and this foam you know peel this off and then apply the foam just like that Make sure it stays on there. And then, once all these wires are in place, in these little holes, little slots, this will get screwed down with these two screws. Okay, the last step will be to fit everything in the receiver box and then screw it down with the other two screws right here and over here and that will make it waterproof at least for the receiver anyways hope this helped y'all and peace